welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through exporting to Azure Blob Storage. So we're going to start in Azure. We're going to create a new storage account. And we will call that storage account. Well, first thing we have to do is create a new resource group. We'll just call it CI Demo. Oh, it already exists. So we'll just use that one then. If you don't already have one, you can create a new one. The storage account name, I'm going to call it CI Blob store and all the rest is good so we can skip that we're going to leave it as public we are going to leave the rest of that the same we need to change public access to enabled and then we can click review and create that'll take us to this page to show us all the settings that we just did and i'm going to click create now all we have to do is just wait for it to get created. So in a second here, it'll show up in the resource list as being underway. And then a few seconds after that, it'll jump in as completed and we can go to the resource. There we go. Its status is accepted. It's currently in deployment. And in a second, it will tell us that deployment's complete. Here we go. And now I can click up here on go to resource. So here's my blob store. Um, I'm going to now go ahead and click on containers, create a new container, and I'm just going to call it CI demo. I need to change my public access from private to blob. Click create, and it creates it. That's all we have to do here in Azure. We'll be back here in a second to get some information. Here we are back over in Customer Insights, and what we need to do here is go ahead and set up a new export destination. So we'll click on that, click on Set Up Blob Storage. Go ahead and give it a name, so I'll just call it My Azure. The account name is the Azure Blob name. So if we come back over here, it's this name here. Now what you want to be careful of though is that you don't have any extra spaces or anything like that because it will cause you some problems over here. So just kind of make sure you don't have any spaces at the beginning or the end. Same thing for the container. If you remember, I called my container CI demo. And then the last piece that we need is the key, which we can come back over here into Azure. And from the access keys, we can copy that key, paste it on in over here and hit next. It's going to ask us which entities we want to create uh, or um, we want to back up into blob storage. I'm going to choose all of them. Hit save. That's going to go ahead and save. And then what I can do is I can click here and I can say export. It's going to go ahead and start exporting. And when it's done, we will be able to see those entities now over in blob storage. We'll give it a second to finish here and then we'll be back and take a look. All right, that finished with the exports. We're back over here in Azure. We're going to go into our container. And if we open up our container, we'll see that we do have a bunch of stuff exported for us. So everything that we chose has been exported. If I want to look at my customers, I can come in here. I can see that I've got 10 CSV files with the customer information in them. I go back up. I can see that I have other information as well from each of the entities. And I can see the JSON model that's going to describe everything that's in here. And that is how you set up exporting from Customer Insights into your Azure Blob Storage account. Hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in again as we release more episodes in the future.